Okay, folks, here's another one we're going to do. Um, I do think my last one turned out looking sh a little bit shitty. Uh, but let's see how we go with this one. We do have a lot of the time we do make bum notes when we make our demos. We don't always make things that we want that look nice. Sometimes it just doesn't. Or maybe it's just me because I'm too... I, I want to get it out of the way. You know, there's a lot of human reasons why I hit bum notes when things don't always look as nice. And and the things I utilise are things that don't typically, that are not designed to be used like this. I use them in unorthodox manners. That's the nature of what I do here on the photocopier is I do try and push the boundaries of things. It's a bit like the movie... Uh, I often think of the phrase gleaming the cube, which is a, 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 a skateboarding uh, movie. Uh, and gleaming the cube sort of means, in so many words, pushing the boundaries. Um, I, I've never seen the movie, but that's a term I sometimes goes across my head because I've, I've seen that name, gleaming the cube. The movie. Look it up. Gleaming the cube, as in gleam, as in shiny. Gleaming the cube, as in the little yeah. Anyway, this is what we're utilising. This. So yeah, we're pushing the boundaries of what what we can do with a photocopier and what these objects, how these objects can be processed through a photocopier. And it's a it's a bit like that. We are indeed pushing the boundaries, and we're pushing them quite hard. Um, so let's see how we go with this. I'm just going to put this behind it. I do think maybe, maybe blue would be a good colour to utilise. Use that there. I don't know if it's going to work with this, but let's see how we go. So we have to use that. And this is gone. But yeah, just watch the movie. I haven't actually seen the movie. I just the term "gleaming the cube" just sounds impressive in my books. I like to imagine that that's what I'm doing with the photocopier. So I'm no good on skateboards. I can skateboard, but I'm not able to do all the tricks. So forget about gleaming the skateboard cube. I'm no good at it. Now that's come up looking really quite nice. The colour in that. <coughs> The nerds will inherit the copier world. Yes, they will, folks. Yep, they certainly will. Yes. I do believe in it, folks. One day, the photocopier industry will be taken over by nerds and geeks. And we, it's known as toner heads. Toner head is a, is a type of geek or nerd that's into photocopiers. That We love our photocopiers. We're interested in high-performance stuff to do with the photocopier and we want to make them better and we want to make a real difference I'd hope that other toner heads would also want to help make the environment and the human race top priority because before we make a profit <coughs> pardon me before we make a profit we've got to care about the environment and we've got to care about the human race we've got to care about these important factors because we don't want the world to die we don't want people dying we want people to benefit from what we're creating instead of instead of dying and being even if they just and even if it means they get angry in the office we've failed our we've failed to address the problems of photocopiers today and really annoy people in the office and this is shit. This is blown right off the fucking page. Don't know what happened there. <laughs> Sorry, folks. My nose is runny. I've got a cold. Fortunately, it's not COVID. I can't afford to have any more sick days for a while because I've had COVID a couple of times um, and I don't have any more sick days left to um, take if I have it, have it again. So I did a rat test yesterday and it turned out negative. I was really happy to, relieved about that.
yeah that's come up looking a lot nicer now it does look really quite promising Ah, I do wonder if we're going to leave it like that or if we're going to improve on it. it looks really nice. I think we're going to take out some of the magenta. It looks a bit hot. It looks a bit warm. So we're just going to take out some of this. This pink. And... Maybe on the horizontal we might enlarge a little bit. I don't know if that's going to work if I've got it that way. Okay, that's come up looking nicer. Looks a bit less pink. Looks a lot nicer and I got it enlarged nicely down, which looks really good. So that's that one. It looks really nice so far. I think we're going to have to maybe gonna enlarge it slightly. We might perhaps take out more of that pink that magenta we're just going to zero it we're not going to remove it we're just going to zero it put it in on default what they call default normal setting uh whatever and that looks better i do think looks a bit better uh I do feel like my intuition's kicking in and giving me ideas on how to, on this enlargement, uh, see how much we can make it look really nice. So yeah, that looks a lot better. So that's this version. But yeah, it's just a piece of mystery. It's probably a piece of automotive metal. I wouldn't be surprised if it came off a car. But I found it on the street. Yeah, I think it was in at an intersection, at a huge intersection, or quite a large one. And I figured I'd souvenir it for this. I do like using crushed metal in my work that I find. I do, folks. It really looks nice. Ah, uh, this user interface can be a real drag. Yeah, it's a pain. Flicking drag. What a pain in the ass. Not a very good design from the company who built this machine, Konica Minolta. Really bad. Okay, that's it. Yeah, <clears> that's <throat> come up looking quite nice. I think we can now call this demo quits.